meat eating. It's not natural for a human being to eat meat. If you explain it logically to people, it makes sense. The carnivores have an intestinal tract three times the size of their torso. And the vegetarian animals, all of them, they have an intestinal tract 12 times bigger than their torso. Now, a human being happens to have an intestinal tract 12 times bigger than his torso. Why? Because when you eat meat, it decomposes. It becomes poisonous. So the meat-eating animals, they have small intestines, so it can quickly pass through. We have teeth like the vegetarian animals. The movement of our jaw is like the vegetarian animals. The carnivores, they lick their water. The vegetarian animals suck their water just like us. The carnivores, they perspire through their tongue and their breathing. The vegetarian animals they breathe through their perspiration as a human being does. According to the Heart Foundation of the United States, 40% of all cancer could be prevented if people eat adequate grains, fruits, and vegetables. Heart disease, according to medicine, the single most cause of heart disease is high animal fat ingestion. Why? Out of habit, breast cancer kills a vast portion of the women population. And countries where there's less meat-eating, according to how much less meat-eating there is, percentage-wise, that how much less breast cancer there is. These statistics are there. People ignore them because they're habituated. They're conditioned. They've been eating meat all their life, so it must be right. Everyone else is doing it around. listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.